Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at my portfolio. I made a video on this recently and I had some really good questions. Now this is my ICER investment account. An ICER investment account in the UK is a tax-free account up to 20,000, which simply means that if I invest 20,000 pounds, any profit that I make, it's all tax-free. And every year that tax-free account is reset. So every year I get a new allowance of 20,000 to invest completely tax-free. However, Polestar is not included in this account. So I'm not buying a lot of Polestar shares. And that's primarily because in the UK, Polestar is not qualified to be in an ISA account. It's, it's really confusing. So I can't hold Polestar in my ISA account. So I have another account in my general account that I hold Polestar, but I would have to pay tax on it. So in my ISA account, I've got Riot, I've got Marathon, I've got Tesla, EVgo, Disney, Blink, Neo, Rivian. And my newest addition is CleanSpark. They're a crypto mining company. Now I invested in CleanSpark because after I uploaded my first portfolio video, I had a really good question from Winston Jenis. And I quote, I like these kind of videos, an overlook of your investment and why you invested in them. Right now I'm invested in Polestar, Riot, and CleanSpark. He also said, I'm curious why you bought Marathon instead of more Riot shares or CleanSpark shares. Marathon seems to have a lot of debt. And he's correct. Marathon is not doing as well. And there's an obvious reason because when I was investing in Riot, I was always investing in Marathon. I always notice that Riot has a lot more potential. That's why I'm up like 19%. While in Marathon, I'm still down minus 4%. However, I remember a time when I was down minus 50, minus 60%. And I kept on buying when it was cheap, so I never lost faith. Now, CleanSpark, I've never heard of CleanSpark before, but I researched into the company, all thanks to one of my subscribers who, who said, why am I not investing in CleanSpark? I was like, CleanSpark, what are they? Started, started looking into it, and I noticed that they're, they're in the United States, which is good. I prefer to invest in crypto mining companies in the United States, at the moment at least. If the laws change in the United States, these companies are able to jump possibly to Mexico or to, to Canada, perhaps to Brazil. There's so many different countries to choose from. So right now, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm invested in. So I added a small amount to my portfolio. In fact, 35 pounds worth. And that's all I needed at the time. But I don't think I'll add any more at the moment. If it goes down, then I'll add more. But if it keeps going up in the green, I don't think I'll add any more. I've got a tiny percent of Starbucks and Apple, ChargePoint. ChargePoint is really good to buy now. In fact, I do believe I missed a buying opportunity uh, quite recently with ChargePoint. It was around $7.23. That was a great buying opportunity. I kind of missed it. But even $8.79 is still a good buying opportunity because it's been hovering around this price for the last month or two. So that's, that's really remarkable. So I wouldn't say it's completely recovered yet. There's still a chance that it might go back down. So Palantir, ChargePoint, Watches of Switzerland, Apple, Starbucks, these are all research. In fact, everything is research, but you can see that some of them, I only choose to buy like one share, five share in Rivian, 10 share in Neo. It's all research. Now let's look at Polestar. This is my general investment account. This is the account that I pay tax on. In Polestar, I've got 20 shares. And for a person like me who talks about Polestar so much, I'm really disappointed that I don't have more. But what you have to understand is that if I have to sell my shares, I sell my shares right now at a negative, I don't have to pay tax because I've lost money. But if Polestar was doing good, I'd have to pay tax. And the more I add is the more tax I'd have to pay. So I do want, I will be buying a lot more Polestar share. However, I'm waiting for a strategic opportunity in my lifestyle. I have to be in the right moment to buy, to buy Polestar or else it will just be a waste of my time. But I am invested emotionally and this is why I've got like 60 pounds invested. And I've got a couple of free shares, particularly this one, IMGN. Immunogen. This is up 356%. I never sell my free share. I just leave them to do what they do. And this one is up at an incredible rate. But yes, I'm not adding any more Polestar share to my account at the moment. I would love to have Polestar in my ISA account. If Polestar was in my ISA account, I would have probably owned at least 100 share by now. Even though the stock price 
like it's not it's not going to go to twenty dollars or thirty dollars anytime soon but it could recover to six dollars nine dollars probably even ten dollars before the end of the year and this is just the perfect time to buy polestar share and by the way this is this is not financial advice none of this is financial advice but that's my small portfolio of polestar and i intend to keep it like this for the next few months however just before the end of the year possibly before november i will be buying quite a lot more polestar share for a strategic reason so that's the reason i'm not buying more polestar share because right now it just doesn't make full sense for my lifestyle it's the perfect time to buy but if my lifestyle isn't correct then it won't work what's the point in buying right now if i might have to sell six months nine months down the line when i buy polestar share i never want to sell that's why i only bought 20 because i know the chances are that i'll never have to sell those 20 shares it's valued at like 60 pounds so i what's the point in selling that's the price of a dinner so I, hopefully i never have to sell those share polestar is a kind of company that i never want to sell i have to treat it differently so i'm editing this video and i noticed that i need to provide everyone with some proof that in the uk you can't invest in polestar using an iso account you have to use a normal account so this was tweeted at me by sky limits and uh, Thankfully, I can refer to it. So this is a famous, very popular trading app in the UK, Trading212. And I think some other countries probably use it as well. But it says here, Polestar Automotive Holding UK, PLC, ICER status. We have identified Polestar Automotive Holding UK, PLC, as an instrument that does not satisfy HMRC ICER eligibility criteria. HMRC is our big governing body that governs everything from tax and as such. Anyway, subsequently, investors who have purchased their stock through an ICER would have to terminate their positions. You'll be able to sell your shares at your own discretion until Wednesday, the 5th of July, 2023. At this point, if your position is still open, it will be closed on your behalf. Now, this happened to me a long time ago on my app that I use to invest. So I use free trade. And if we look up PSNY, we can obviously see right there, it says GIA. That's a general investor account and a SIP. That's a, a SIPP is a um, retirement um, investment account of sorts. But you can see the ISA is not included. Now in another company like NASPER, I don't know who they are. You can see an ISA is included, ISA. Now let's look at Apple for anyone who wants a bit more for proof. Apple is included in all three accounts on my trading app. You can invest in your general account, you can invest in your ISA and your retirement fund. Now this is very common for the UK. It might be different in different countries, Australia, America, different countries, they have different laws. But in the UK, for some reason, Polestar isn't available. It doesn't suit the criteria of our governing body that we can trade it tax-free. We can't right now. I can't trade it tax-free. I can't invest in Polestar tax-free. However, I can invest in Apple using my ISA account and any capital gains is not subject to tax unless I invest more than 20,000. I get a 20,000 limit of tax-free allowance each year. So does everyone else who have an ISA savings account. Whatever capital gains you have, it's tax-free in your ISA Apple. I can invest in Apple tax-free up to 20,000, but not in Polestar. So I hope this is changed in the future. I hope HMRC can accept Polestar and just allow us to trade tax-free. That would be great. But I think it's more on Polestar and Volvo to perhaps fix the issues. There must be reasons why it's not suited on the, the UK criteria. So it's up to Polestar and Volvo to fix those issues. And hopefully that can be fixed in the near future. So I just wanted to provide some proof that this is a very common thing in the UK. Some shares you cannot trade, you cannot buy using an ISA. You just can't. So when Polestar was going public, I was already investing in GGPI using an ISA. But I believe I had to sell at the time. And then I invested in my general account. But I was already notified a long time ago that I can't be trading it. So I'm not too sure why other apps are taking so long to notify people. Now in my ISA account, there's lots of companies that I would sell. Riot, Marathon, EVGo, CleanSpark, mostly the 
the the shares that are a little bit volatile like riot platform and marathon now as for the companies that i'd like to hold forever tesla disney rivian neo watches of switzerland apple starbucks and there's a lot more that i have in my watch list but my watch list isn't available on this desktop app it has to be on my smartphone but also i like charging companies such as blink evigo charge point i even love volta i love volta but i had to sell because the company was sold to shell i'd like to buy into nvidia i'd like to buy into intuit microsoft amazon those are all companies that i want to buy into and i just want to buy one share just so i can study the performance just so i can wait for it to fall 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent, then buy more but that's it for this video just explaining why i don't buy more polestar share but i will be buying more polestar share in the near future so thank you for watching, subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in our next video.